Welcome to another episode of Mario Kart Tour, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I'll be running in the Charge and Chuck Cup for week two's ranked mode of the Animal Tour. And if all goes well there, we'll fire off today's challenge, the All Clear Pipe, and maybe even react to the Nintendo Direct, the second trailer for the Super Mario movie. If that sounds good with all of you, please show your support with the channel by leaving a like on this video and subscribing. Thank you so much for that support. All right, let's take a look at this ranked cup, right? And right now we can see it's a pretty friendly group, I have to say, right? Uh, we go went over my loadouts in week one for the reaction and we can top this and that's what we're gonna do today. I'll be providing tips for both beginners and some food for thought for all you veteran players out there. So taking a look at my loadouts now on Choco Mountain RT. I'm gonna be going in with the Black Birdo. It's not a plus special skill, but it is my only driver that's getting bonus points boost. Increased frenzy chance. We can see that there's a lot of plus skills here. You have the regular charge and chuck, the gold charge and chuck with coin box. Tuxi with the coin box as well and a bunch of me suits there. Um, now in terms of the card selection, you have two very powerful options here. We have the Rambi Runner, which is in the optimal quartet of cards overall and fills in optimal combinations of overall course coverage. That is to say the volume of tracks that you can cover in tandem with other top cards in the game. This is one of them. But the number one cart in the game is this other one right here, the yellow off-roader. Has access to more retro courses than any other cart currently available in the game. And that yellow off-roader is also in play on the Riverside Park for this week as well. So if you're looking to make moves, let's say hypothetically speaking here, if the Rambi Runner and the yellow off-roader were the same level, and you'd be looking to level up one or the other, you definitely want to go with the yellow off-roader. In this situation, they are both triple capped, right? And the larger size hitbox, if you're going with coin box, is going to pair favorably, but then you have to figure out how many more actions are you generating from the increased size of that. And we'll just swing it over and do a little bit of math, right? Because much of the scoring in Mario Kart Tour is all about the mathematics. So let me just provide you with a quick example here. Both of these carts are triple capped. So for each level, you're going to be having the bonus points multiplier number less than one of its level. And what I mean by that is the bonus points boost on the Rambi Runner is going to be 7.15, which is 1% of the base points that are 715. And then you're going to multiply that for the Rambi Runner in this case by 6 because it's level 7. And we can see 42.9 is the case there. And then we're going to take the same 7.15 and multiply that by 5 for the yellow off rotor, which has 35.75. Bonus points boost per action. This is every single action additional points that you're getting up until an action count of 200. Now, that 7.15, we can see if we just add in 7.15, that's how we get to the Rambi Runner total. And the difference in action count, let's just go up to 200 then, just to show what the maximum difference is in that situation. So you're gonna be getting 7.15 additional bonus points boost with the Rambi Runner if your levels are skewed the way that mine are, and multiply that by 200 actions. So that's a difference of 1430 in terms of points. And then you have to figure out, well, if you're only getting a few additional actions with the yellow off-roader, how many actions then you would need in order to um, balance out, equalize, and eclipse this 1430 points. So that's the kind of stuff that you want to be looking at there. We're going in with the Remy Runner. And we have the Silver Star Shoe. Other options here. We've gone through these in the optimal listing. The really nice one there is the Bright Balloons and uh, the Glittering Parasol there, as well as the 8-Bit Bullet Build. Silver Star Shoot has been a standard high end for quite a long time. So let's see if we can get some first run luck going here. I'd imagine I'm projecting um, at least over 20K easily on this course as well as DK Mountain. Uh, with the Riverside Park, I only have a level one driver, so already we can see the mayhem is hitting us here. So we're gonna have to do some catching up. 
Oh, and <laughs> the rolling rock is not helping with that too much, but maybe we can get increased frenzy odds here. Ooh, that is not a friendly roll. Would you look at that? <laughs> red shell, green shell, red shell in sixth place, but we did get the hit there. Ooh. Okay, keeping the combo alive. That's good. Now, as you play the game more, the bad spots will start to be eliminated, and these are the ones that take the very aggressive lines um, that make it difficult to finish in first place. So it's nice, actually, that you don't hit yourself with your own bob on can there. Just missed the snipe. That was very, very close. But we got one on the other side, which is good. Did you see that pop? He's going to Kevin. Look at that. We actually get blue shells helping us out for a change. My goodness, folks, we're in first place, and we got the bob -omb hit there. Now can we get a frenzy? Ooh, no, but the bob -omb is going to be nice. Actually, we're going to dip it right there. Let's see what happens. Well, we remembered where those bananas were placed, so we managed to miss those. Already up at 12k. So if you want the faster route, you go to the bottom. I'm going to take the risk here. Go to the top. I think we can get this. So there we go, non-stop combo, 89 actions. That's a pretty soft run there. Frenzyless, no less. And we were in sixth place that whole first lap, right? But uh, it just goes to show you what the potential would be on this track if we were really going all in on that. But we're only gonna do enough that is called upon us in this situation. In fact, if we wanted to, we could pursue you know, a score likely over 30k here with a double or a triple coin frenzy non-stop combo. That's looking mighty fine there. So 23k start. Riverside Park T. We have the gold PD Piranha. I think this might be one of the first times I'm using that. In fact, uh, no other plus skills in the arrangement here and no other drivers above level one. There's no bonus points boost here, folks. And uh, you got a couple Marios and a couple of Mies there and the uh, the Daisy buff on Fairy, which is good to see since she's one of those year one drafters. But we have that big size hitbox and the starry great sail. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna upgrade my points tapping right here. We're gonna go up to 800. Just because we're probably gonna count the first run that we get. Maybe I'll leave it one shy, since we are not getting bonus points boost and the implications of these points are just the lump sum that you receive at the very beginning of the race. But uh, we do have a lot of those red points boost tickets. Don't we know how to pull those things from the token shop pipe, folks? Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> so they're coming in good here. It's uh, smiling at adversity on some of those pulls, right? <laughs> Alright, we're going to leave it there. I'm not going to waste the ticket on that. 788 points ought to be sufficient. Let's go Let's see what this gold PD Piranha can do, right? It looks very good in the yellow off-roader. This is a trick variant track, so sometimes it's more challenging to get the coin boxes going on this. But we'll see. Well, I'm, in, I'm in the middle of the pack here. Second place actually is not ideal in that situation. You can see I did not pull a coin box there and I actually haven't raced on this variant yet, so I don't even know where my line is at here. What is going on? Okay, Starry is keeping my combo alive. That's nice. Ooh, I like these um, shroom pads there. Very nice. Okay, get the bob on, drop it in there. Should get a hit. Yes, very good. I'm gonna hold on to that green shell for defense. Well, that did me a lot of good, right? <laughs> Oh well, the blue shell giveth and the blue shell taketh away. It did give us a lot in that first race, did it not, folks? Anyway, there we go. There's a the coin box. So, get our drift going the right way. I probably could have stayed grounded there, but we're going to release it here. I think this is a pretty good spot. Um, yeah, I did not do much with that, but that was definitely the spot where you want to make use of it there. Just, uh, you want a better execution than what I just did there. I don't know which way I'm turning here. Okay. Still looking pretty good though. All these bonus points are adding up quite substantially there. I get the hit, uh, miss the coins, but that's quite all right. Look at that, almost 20K on that. So that will take us now to about 
42K. And it's all up to DK Jr. now, right? Let's see what he can do. I think we want to get a good frenzy spread on this run, don't we? Uh, we have the DK Maximum here, and we have the Middle Shelf Glider, so very similar kind of loadout to the DK Mountain that I shared with you, the run and the reaction. Should be a few more actions though, and uh, fewer drop combos, so I think the score is going to balloon quite a bit. Yeah, I, I would imagine the first place finish here, even if we don't have the Frenzy luck, we're going to be up in the, you know, the mid to upper 20s. If not, you know, with the Frenzy luck, we're going to go over 30k. Okay, uh, I should have been able to get those coins, but I want the first place to roll, so I'm not going to glide up in that situation there. Ooh, look at these bots. They are slipstreaming like demons out here, aren't they? Um, yeah, actually, that is not very easy to keep combo through there. Wow, look at that. Ooh, brutal. But we got the frenzy. Um, can we get some placement back, though? This is tough. Look at this. Okay, we got two hits, so that wasn't a totally busted frenzy, but I think I'll want to drift this way. I guess it really doesn't matter because the cannon's going to send us back down, but yeah, that is the way that we want to go with that. Um, missed the mini turbo, but still kept combo thanks to the middle shelf dragon wings there. Look at this, a lot of protection. We're going to spam that back, we're going to spam that back. That should keep the combo. Looking very good there. Drop the triples, should get a couple hits on that. How are we going to catch up here? Not with that, but it looks like they're taking the half pipe for a change. Uh, now ideally, if you want the maximum action count potential there, you want to take the half pipe, but uh, we're just trying to come in first and see what kind of a run that we can get. I'm going to take this inside line here. You can see that they're trying to slipstream us, but we're not going to allow that with the triple bananas there. I'll drop those two there. Hopefully we can get something happening here on the final stretch. Let's go. I love this coming down. It's such a good view. Get the drift position correctly. Okay, no frenzy. So maybe we'll uh, give this one another run. We'll see how many points we have with this run. Should be pretty good actually because we're at 15k. Yeah, look at that. Uh, almost 29k on this run. And that's without a frenzy. Many, many skipped actions on this one. But that should be good enough to take us into first place. Let's see where that lands us. Yeah, 71k. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll do another run. Why not, right? Uh, with DK Jr., since he is a level 8, uh, see what we can do with just a single Frenzy here. Because we haven't had a Frenzy uh, in this Ranked Cup, which is incredible. <laughs> um, Granted, the first two drivers were a level three and a level one. This should be a good spot to pick up a frenzy one. Sixth place. Just asking for a mega mushroom. Oh, it happened. I can't believe that. We got the mega mushroom frenzy. It's like, they know. They know. It's like, oh, you can give the most suboptimal frenzy possible, which means, like, it's automatic. You're just going to get it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, folks. It's very easy to predict luck in Mario Kart Tour. It's like maximum irony, and then that's what you'll get. I could have used this room there to keep the combo. I'm going for uh, a full dose of irony in this run here. All right, <laughs> we're keeping it rolling with the super horn. You can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this up. Are you not entertained? Uh, that's what this is all about, right? <laughs> oh, wow, actually that was very friendly because we were still on the glider pad and the lightning hit, which actually was beneficial for us since we were gonna get knocked down anyway. My goodness, the bots are feisty today. Ooh, that's brutal. That is brutal. But if you have a frenzy there, then you're getting a hit on the rolling rock. So that's a good situation. You know, if you're looking to reset for optimal runs, then that's not a big deal, right? You know, if that affects your run, then you just reset and you go in for an optimal placement. 
that situation. There we go. Even with a double frenzy, you can see that we had a lower score in this run because the quality overall. Uh, we dropped combo more and we had a lot more uh, busyness going on with the bots there. So um, we, let's try to get over 30k on this. We'll just keep going. Um, we definitely want to showcase uh, the best side of PK June in this game since um, you know it's very nice that he was taken care of in this tour. Part of the reason why I'm playing both weeks of rank mode is just the track selection is so nice this tour. And I know that, you know, maybe the adaptation of these courses isn't ideal for Mario Kart Tour, but the magic of these courses still really speaks to me. It speaks volumes, actually. So, um, any opportunity I can have to experience that and share that moment with uh, all of you definitely is worthwhile, in my opinion. Almost the dash panel there. Very aggressive and not pulling a good RNG yet. You get too many turbos in. That's pretty good. I mean, ideally, you don't want to take the half pipes. I'm going to try to keep the front running position going here because if we get a triple banana frenzy, especially on this section, it'd be very good. Thank you for listening in in turn four, finally. Oh, yes, that is just what you wanted to do there. Perfect. Okay, we ended up sending some of those forward, but we should still have a very, very high quality run here. And that will help me keep combo so I can hold down these turbos for even longer now. Okay, let's try one half pipe, right? Gotta have a little bit of fun on the half pipes. i probably drop combo here. Yeah, I'm just gonna let that go. Going up the mountain on a steep angle like that, we did not get the mini turbo activation. But this will be a new high score for us, uh, barring any catastrophe here on the end. We're looking pretty good here. So hopefully we get a hit with that. Yes, and keep the combo. Very good. Can we squeak in a mini turbo? We did not. Oh, we didn't get the 30k. Well. I think we're gonna be satisfied with that run. Where does that bring us up to? 72K, I think that's sufficient for this ranked mode. We do have a 7K lead, which is very nice. Let's check out the shop actually and see what we have available here. Um, Kangaroo Yoshi is in play. We also have a couple princesses there as well. Okay, and uh, we can do those token pipes as well. So let's just fire away at these and see what we end up pulling. First one up is a greenie. Fired off some of these on the Discord server for the bonus content you want to join in. Link will be in the description below for you there. All right, I think that was coins. I saw the, uh, the meter was running up. Very, very nice, 2K coins. That's what we want to see. Hmm, item tickets. I suppose that's a reminder, I didn't use any item tickets in those runs. So, you know, if you're doing perfect optimization, you're gonna look to use those item tickets uh, when applicable. But as is the situation, when you control your ecosystem the way that I share here on the channel, you don't have to, the leverage is so great, you don't have to focus on, you know, every little optimization in your runs. And it sets up a much friendlier gameplay experience overall. Um, much friendlier, in fact, than these item tickets that they're uh, pushing off onto us here. Okay, finally, a little bit of super going on there. Working our way up to the high end, right? There you go, there's the high end, very nice, okay. <laughs> All right, points cap. Uh, there's a quad cap too. I know some people out there have asked me, am I gonna quad cap DK Jr.? There's really no need, you know, from an ROI perspective, it doesn't make sense to do it. 
However, in my situation, since it is a pillar on my account, absolutely it would make sense to eventually max max them out, right? But I'm at a point in the game where if I don't need to, I'm not going to do it even if I want to. But I tell you what, if they give me a few more of these, I might just do it anyway. <laughs> okay, but that's for a glider, so that's not going to uh, contribute to that count anyway. How many more do we have? I think this is the last one, unless we get a bunch of tokens on our today's challenge, but this is a good spot to end off with, right? We have a gold pipe. Ooh, a glider skill up ticket, much rarer, much more valuable in terms of the ROI. Okay, let's do today's challenge, and then maybe we'll tune into the Nintendo Direct give you all a reaction to the second trailer. Might they show Donkey Kong in that? Cranky Kong even? Oh my goodness, that would be so nice. I'm not expecting it in the uh, the preview teaser image they showed us. It's uh, in Peach's Castle there, so I wouldn't imagine that uh, DK will be featured, but the first trailer largely featured Mac and Bowser, the minions, the penguins, right? Oh, and, and the little toads were priceless too, so... Uh, I definitely love the animation that they did there. Uh, you can tell that they're giving it a lot of attention. Um, it means a lot to them. And the art direction of Mario and, and the other characters is kind of like a hybrid between the eras, right? Because it's, it has similarities to the original Mario Kart artwork that we saw for you know the SNES and NES era, but then. It also has qualities, too, of its uh, more modern uh, appearance, so it's kind of like a mixture, a crossover between generations, no doubt, to um, try to sit, uh, speak to the nostalgia that fans of all ages can appreciate, and I think they, they really hit the mark very well on that. So we'll have to see what they do with Peach and uh, any of the other characters that they might show in this trailer. So here we go. Um, oh, we also have an all clear pipe too. I forgot about that. So we'll do the final challenge and then all clear pipe. 10 rubies. Oh, that is extremely generous. Still have never pulled a 45er. Uh, and all my pipes totaled up uh, probably about five to one to have had that already. But that's what it is, five to one. Uh, the one person out of the six does exist, folks. That's me. So. <laughs> um, you might be in that camp as well, and if, if that's the case, then uh, so be it, right? Anyway, well, let's see, I must have saved the Diddy Kong, the Ring Race, and DK Mountain. Oh, this, they made this one just for us, I think, right? Very, very nice. Look at that little guy. He wants to um, call in Dixie Kong on the all-clear pipe. That would be remarkable if that happened. I think I would be completely speechless. Um, but in the meantime, we'll just take in the beauty of this course. It doesn't live up to the expectations um, of it from, you know, my memory playing it on the GameCube. But that's because the, the controls and the, the mechanism of Mario Kart Tour is unique. And, you know, in that regard, you know, this section in particular, I know a lot of people have mentioned how challenging that is. Um, and, and certainly in my case, it's been challenging since I haven't had Top Shelf Glider, but even you know, many folks do have Top Shelf Glider and it's still challenging. So. And it's really these hairpin turns. I, honestly, the challenge isn't what bothers me. I enjoy challenge. I thought Koopa Cape was one of my favorite tracks of this year. That might be uh, a minority opinion. It's fine. You know, we all have our own takes on things, right? But I think uh, the real aspect of, of where this track feels like it's missing a little something to uh, the original is the fact that you can't break or you know control the character. It's always you know going in automatic. So you can't take that shortcut across the hairpin turn with a shroom. And I think that that was one of the magical parts that made that turn so special. And in here, it's kind of just a hindrance in, in according to the controls, but uh, it's still a gorgeous track. I love to see the, the remaster that they did of it. 
Um, and they definitely themed things up, added some appropriate color in there, like with that sign with Mario Kart across the top there. So those are my complete thoughts on this course overall. All right, look at little Dixie Kong. She's saying, put me in, coach, put me in. <laughs> anyway, you see Funky Kong's in the back. He's, uh, he's looking after everybody there. Most to use DK Jr., no surprise there. Let's go, let's get the Dixie Kong out of the way. Come on. <laughs> Okay, uh, Silver Star Shoot, um, Intern 4 missed the memo. Um, not putting tickets on that to uh, play in ranked mode, but now it's just two away for the next time that it might be needed. And that is a very valuable glider for the DK Summit family of tracks. Okay. Get that coin rush ticket and all the tour challenges are complete. And so we'll collect this final high end ticket here with the five grand stars, which is now the cost of that final one for free to play. But they have us covered with the star tickets, so we're very good there. And with that, I leave you all. See you all in the Bowser vs. Peach Tour. Take care, everybody.